Hey, what's going on guys? Let me show you how I'm running Facebook ads in 2024 and how you should be running ads in 2024 and let me explain why you're running Facebook ads in 2024 wrong and you've been, I wouldn't say lied to, but things have just changed since back in 2017 when I could just go to this website, Thieve, and find the product on here, take this picture and run ads for it and find the winning interest for this lock or this necklace, right? That was the old way and it was much easier back then. It was much more interest um, heavy. It was much more important to find winning interest than to actually find winning creatives. You can literally just throw these pictures up right here and it used to work. It doesn't work like that anymore. And I see so many dropshippers still doing that. So I wanna make this video and explain to you exactly why, exactly how I'm running Facebook ads in 2024. And let me just show you my results real quick. So let me go to slideshow. All right, all right, all right, all right. So in December, these are my, um, these are some of my stores in December right here, December, December, December. Um, this is from June to December, and then this was July through August, um, following the strategy and all with Facebook ads. So this is my credibility. I've been e-commerce for seven, going on seven years now. Um, I have, I run ads for other people and I have, I help coach um, my students and my mentorship program. So I do both of those and then I have my own stores for myself. Um, I make content about my stores on YouTube for free for you guys. So if you guys like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe. I would really, really, really appreciate it. All right, so enough talking about numbers and my stores. Let's talk about kind of back in the day. We, we touched on this a little bit, but back in the day, targeting was much more important than the actual ads, right? Um, finding the correct interest um, in the in the audience, in the pocket of people was much more important. And it was pretty difficult to do. Uh, you, can, you can run any ad, but it was hard to find the right interest. Um, now shift to 2024, where we can utilize broad targeting and really focus on the ad creative because it turns out the ad creative actually does the targeting. How do I know this? If I run an ad for my store and put a female in my ad, I can do a breakdown on a seven day period, one day period, doesn't matter. And I can see that Facebook is spending my budget on more women because of the ad, because the ad has a woman in it. Vice versa, if I put a male in it, it will have more spend on men. Um, same thing with age. Um, so that just proves that the, the ad, the actual creative, the visuals could be an image ad as well as actually doing the targeting. And we're trusting that Facebook will be able to find the right customer at the best possible price rather than trying to test a bunch of different interests end up having a bunch of losing interest and having a couple of winning interests and trying to scale the winning interest then it dies out and then you're constantly testing new ads, new interests and just a, a big mess. Um, yeah, so that's basically what I learned um, in 2023 and what I've shifted to in 2024. So let's continue. So we need to understand that humans are not smart. We're pretty smart, but machine learning is much, much, much smart, smarter than us. And we want to trust Facebook's AI machine learning to take care of our campaigns and find the right audience. We want to trust the algorithm. Um, Facebook's algorithm and TikTok's algorithm is just getting smarter and smarter every single day, every single year over and over again. So we want to utilize that. And that's why every single penny that you spend counts because every single dollar, every single penny you spend, you're giving Facebook money to learn its audience, learn the target market that is going to purchase from your website. So every single dollar you spend, you think of it as like you're just feeding the Facebook algorithm, the machine learning and letting it learn and letting it get better and improve over time. Now, um, now how do you properly feed it, right? Uh, my strategy, and I'll show you guys uh, the, my account, my ad account soon, and I think it's on the next slide. Um, but my strategy is to start with a $100 CBO, $100 per day, and you want to scale this. If you have something that works at $100 a day, hats off to you. That is very impressive. Now, how do you feed this and how do you scale it and how do you improve it? Well, a, a good starting point is to scale by 10% a day. And real quick, let me just show you what 10% a day looks like. Let's open this up. So if your CBO on day one starts at $100, right? 10% a day, pretty slow at first. But after 31 days, you'll be at $1,700 a day on daily spend on just one campaign. 
Um, as you can see, this, this goes up relatively very, very, very quickly, um, just 10% a day. So it might not sound like a lot, but it, it adds up very, very quickly. Um, so that's how I would vertically scale a winning campaign. Um, okay, let's continue. So this is what it actually looks like, the setup for um, running ads in 2024. We're going with the one campaign method. If you guys are new to my channel, um, I talk about this a lot. One campaign per objective, in this case, per country. So with USA CBO, um, this is the campaign level. And then on the ad set level, we have one ad set. And I put CT for creative test. And then I can't show you guys the ad level because I would give away the ads. But it is, I put all the ads in the ad set level when you're testing. Testing new ads is a whole other thing. I'm not going to talk about this in this video, but this is a basic testing campaign from day one. Once you have something that's working and winning, you want to test new ads um, with a DCT and a separate ad set, same campaign. We, we, we can talk about that in another video, but this is how you set up your initial testing campaign. Super, super simple. Um, I think in 2024 and moving forward, media buying is going to get easier and more hands-off, and we're already seeing that with the Advantage Plus Shopping campaigns is very, very hands off. All you do is press create, set a date and time, give it a budget, and it imports your ads and does it for you. I don't recommend using that, but it's Facebook saying this is this is what we're moving towards. And that's exactly, it's basically what we're doing. Um, it, we're just not clicking Advantage Plus shopping campaign. We're manually making it. Okay, so let's continue. So I would be lying if I'd say I came up with all of this and that I'm the, the um, What's, what's the word? I'm the leader of this structure. Absolutely not. Um, I listen to two people. I listen to Professor Charlie T and I listen to Nick Terrio. Um, these are two YouTubers. They run, they, they, they run agencies for very, very big brands. They're not drop shippers. Um, they, they, they work with budgets like million dollar budgets, um, crazy ad spend, um, very, very good, um, media buyers. So, um, again, drop shipping isn't just media buying. It's, it's a lot of different things I cover on my channel. Um, but for media buying specifically, I listen to them and then I use it for my own stores and reiterate it and um, go through my trial and error and experience with my stores using their their um, their fundamentals and, and their strategies. Um, so yeah, hats off to them guys. Um, yeah, you guys can check out their channels uh, as well. Okay, so that's it for this video, guys. If you guys like this con, if you guys like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. I'll be uploading a video every single day of the week, Monday through Friday. Hopefully, all of 2024, um, as my stores grow and I can make more content for you guys. Um, but comment down below what type of content you guys want me to talk about. Um, I think lately it's been media buying, but you know. Go watch my flywheel, my flywheel, my dropshipping flywheel video. There's a lot about dropshipping that isn't talked about. You know, copywriting, logo design, store design, media buying, obviously, customer service, product development, product research, target market research. There's a lot of stuff we can talk about. Um, so yeah, and if you guys want to work with me, there's a link down below to join the university, which is just uh, monthly coaching. You get access to all my. Um, videos, exclusive videos I don't post on YouTube, um, and you get a weekly call with me every single Wednesday. Um, so yeah, check that out, and yeah, that's it guys. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Alright, peace.